My name's Buzz, hope you guys are having a good time. I know I am. Today we're playing some more Sakura Dungeon. So let's go ahead and jump right back on into the story. I am very excited. I do love this game. Very, very much. Alright. So, let's see. Oh, it's another bunny girl. Hiya! Fountain Menagerts. Again. So, the combat is quite neat. Found ten more mana shards. And there's an event. City. Before we proceed any further, I need to ask a favor of you. What is it, Yomi? I know that you do not appreciate your position right now, but I'm afraid that we need to capture more subordinates. So you want me to catch them for you. Exactly. While I do not agree with this idea as a matter of principle, we need as many allies as we can get. So, what is it you need me to do? I will show you how to use the capture spell. Since I'm directly channeling my magic through you, it should be a simple task. Very well, show me how. Zuri has learned the capture ability. All monsters you encounter at random while inside the dungeon can be captured. After capturing them, they will be sent to the prison in your hometown. You need to go meet your captured monsters if you want to add them to your party. To capture a monster, you must do enough damage with a capture ability to defeat her. Ideally, you need to, or you should weaken them until they can be taken out with one hit. Not all monsters can be captured this way, but there may be other means of recruiting those monsters that, to your cause. Monsters who are higher level than the caster of the capture spell cannot be captured. barrel we should break it why is that the first thing to cross your mind you never know what might be hiding inside a barrel fine she takes her blade to the barrel and smashes it to pieces something shimmering among the spoilers five mana shards not a bad start mana shards yes small pellets of concentrated magic they're highly useful i can tell you very well she grabs the shards and puts them into her belt pouch you will encounter objects which can be broken for treasures as you proceed through the dungeon. To interact with the objects, walk up and click on them. Mana shards are the primary currency of this dungeon. They, they are used to make magical items and pay for repair fees. Alright, so... We need to go this way, then this way... Alright, let's go! You found 10 mana shards! Great job, we have our first ally. Well, that's one way to put it. But are you sure that a rabbit is going to be much of use to us? You underestimate that rabbit. There are particular species I found in the winds, windswept plateaus to the north. While they seem harmless enough, they have a natural affinity with the wind. They can tear you apart without having to touch you themselves. 
What an unusually vicious rabbit. I suppose it's a good thing that they're on our side now. Very much so. Remember not to look down on anything you find in this dungeon. It can come back to bite you. You've captured your first party member. If you want to add her to your dungeon party, head back to town and click on Meet Capture Monsters at the main menu. Monsters you've captured will appear there. Uh, we're not going to go just yet. We're going to head down here first. An event! Siri! Strange. I do not feel any fatigue while I'm down here. Monsters naturally recover quickly from wounds and tiredness. I have passed some of those traits to you from our contact. Well, I can't complain about that. There's no healing magic in this game. Instead, all party members regenerate health over time. For each turn in battle, or for every two steps, a party member will recover health based on how much resilience they have. If a monster's outfit is damaged, their recovery rate is reduced by half. A monster's outfit is damaged when they take a critical hit, and their current VP is lower than half the maximum VP. The resilience rating on your current party member is fairly low, so be sure to frequently visit town to recover. Injured and knocked out party members will recover all of their health when they visit town. Damaged outfits will also be automatically repaired. Ten mana shards. Ah, and this is the first floor of the dungeon. I knew you could do it. Well, it's only the beginning. I can only imagine what is waiting for us down there. I would not think too much about it. After all, it's best to take things one step at a time. One floor, one step, one battle. Yes, I am very much aware. I do not know how deep this dungeon reaches into the earth. So I'm prepared for the worst. Go to the next floor? Why yes. Why yes we shall. This dungeon isn't the worst I've encountered. If we keep up this pace, we'll be through it in no time. You really should not say things like that. If you keep doing it, you'll become overconfident. And when that happens, you'll underestimate the obstacles ahead. It's true enough. But even if I'm facing overwhelming odds, I have to stand firm. If I gave up so easily, I face some trouble. What good would uh, I be as an adventurer? So, is that so? Is that way you chose to keep fighting? Is that way why you chose to keep fighting me instead of running away? Exactly. We both knew that there was no way I could win. It's obvious that you had the upper hand. But even so, I could not run away from you. That's nonsense. Here. If there was a less benevolent monster trapped in that sill, you would have surely been perished. No heroic sacrifices or anything like that when we're working together, okay? I want both of us to make it out of this dungeon alive. Very well. I will try not to. Thank you. As you go further down, the strength of your enemies will increase. Do not hesitate to retreat if you're having trouble. If you are defeated, it's game over. suddenly pauses. Strange. That sounds like something I've heard while hunting in the woods. It's a... It's a sound that only... She suddenly realized something. Like the wall. She slams herself against the wall, narrowly dodging as something charges down the hallway. I step to the side and let it pass me. 
Ah yes, I remember them. What is it, Fox? Our assailant returns, scraping the ground with their foot. Intruders! I'll make sure you don't leave here alive! Jingerfully puffs her cheeks, obviously not very pleased to see us. A wild boar. Very tough and courageous. Spare me the commentary, Fox. She's getting ready to charge again. I'm trying to go ahead and do this. I'm definitely going to be using this later. The poor girl collapses. Despite being obvious beaten, the poor girl still stares at us defiantly. Not bad, but you're going to have to do better than that. It's time for the next round. Please just accept your defeat. You're obviously injured and you're only going to make it worse if you keep going. I know boars are stubborn, but they aren't stupid. The poor girl just makes her cheeks puff up. As if I would give up. All I need to do is take a nap and I'll be right back into the fight. She tries to get back up and stumbles. I may not be ready right now, but just wait and see. I'll never surrender to the likes of you. Are all boars this thick-headed? Well, yes, they do have remarkably resilient skull. That's funny. I'm, that's pretty funny right there. How else do you think they recover when their charge misses their target? That was not really what I was asking about. The boar stares at Siri. What about you? You need to swing that fancy sword around to win a fight? I can do it with my bare hands. Boars are also a species who are competitive to a fault. It is always a contest between a boar is present. You can't right now, actually. Prove it! Siri shakes her head. Is this exchange really necessary? You're never going to win an argument with a boar, Siri. Why else do you, you think they were brought to this dungeon? Monsters in this dungeon are frustrating to deal with. Hey, don't ignore me. And who are you calling frustrating? Try being a minion in this dungeon and tell me you're frustrated then. Yes, yes, I imagine being underground all of the time isn't very pleasant. Damn right it isn't. Siri, please use your capture magic and put an end to this ridiculous argument. We have no further reason to keep speaking to her. Do we really want such a disagreeable boar in our ranks, though? I'll show you disagreeable in a minute. Just, just let me get a quick, just let me get my breath back. Fine, I'll use it. You can deal with her later. Siri casts a spell and the boar disappears. Very nice work. A boar is going to be a great ally, you can always rely on them, it beats having them charge at you. So where exactly did these boars come from? An untamed forest in one land or another? I brought them because they're hard workers and barely afraid of anything, especially not adventurers. We should head back and see if we can convince her to help her. I would not mind having a break soon. Alright, so how does one... So we need to go meet the captured monsters. As I approach the holding cell, I hear a small squeak escape from it. The rabbit I had fought stares back at me in fear. D Don't eat me! I was just following orders. People aren't allowed to visit. Calm down, rabbit. I have no intention of eating you. They, they're a very high-strung species. The poor thing has probably been frightened half to death. But foxes are dangerous. Really, I won't. If I was going to eat you, I would have done so already. Anyway, I came here to ask you something. Yes? Would you like to work for me? Work for you? Yes, as my servant. Well, 
The current dungeon lord is pretty mean, and the bigger monsters keep looking at me with their big predatory eyes. She shivers in fear. Okay, I'll join you, as long as you don't eat me. I promise that I won't. My cute little subordinates will only get the best treat. Bunny girl has joined your party. To add her to your dungeon party, click organize party button at the main menu. Oh, okay, sweet. I can hear a loud thump echoing over and over again inside the prison. Sure enough, that poor girl is slamming her fist into the wall. She looks really grumpy, to say the least. When she sees me, she practically rams the bars of her prison. Let me out of here, you nasty little ferret! Just because you beat me once doesn't mean I've given up. This is why I like Boris. You just never give up, do you? Stop that. She slams her palms of her hands against the bars, denting them slightly. I can see her cheeks puffing up angrily as she, as is typical behavior for boars. What are these damn bars made of? Please stop that already. I'm not here to start a fight with you. Then what are you here for? If it's to laugh at me, you'd better be ready for when I get out of this cell. Not at all. I'm here to propose an idea. An idea? She mean she seems a bit less angry than before. What is this idea of yours? You look really angry, even more so than most boars. Are you happy with being a minion in this dungeon? Uh, well, I guess not. We don't get any time to leave this dungeon, so I get pretty angry knowing I can't do anything about it. Then why not work for me? I will give you plenty of time off to frolic in the meadows, plus when we reclaim this dungeon, I promise I will be a much better dungeon lord than your current one. The boar seems to be thinking it over. Well, I'm still mad at you for all this, but I really, really, really want to spend some time above ground. All right, ferret. I'll play along with this idea of yours. Just point me in whatever direction I need to charge. With pleasure. I look forward to working with you. The boar girl has joined your party. Alright, so we are going to organize our party. Alright, so let's see. This is actually going to be really fun. I guess you can have like... 10 party members it looks like if it follows along with this but anyways guys i hope you guys had a great time on this new episode of sakura dungeon i know i did it was a lot of fun remember to go ahead and high five that like button for me comment below and also subscribe for more buzz out we'll see you on the next Bye bye